Welcome back to my channel. It is Serena here with you for another holiday video. So, as promised, and as I had said before, we're doing recipes. I got my apron on. I'm serious. I mean business. I've got my husband here. His name is Marcus. Say hello. Hey guys. Marcus knows how to throw it down in the kitchen, whether it's making cocktails, baking, even though he says he's not good at baking, he's good at baking, and he's really good at cooking. So anytime I'm in the kitchen, this guy is either gonna be with me or he's gonna be behind the camera here. Or I'm gonna be eating. <laughs> Fair, that's a fair, that's a fair statement. Okay, so in today's video, as promised before, I am making holiday cocktails. This, my friends, is going to be a caramel apple sangria. Caramel, 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 caramel. How do you say it? Caramel. He says caramel. I think I say caramel. I think I say caramel. That's fine. That's fine. You say caramel, I say caramel. Anyways, we are doing a caramel apple cider uh, sangria. So this is gonna be the easiest thing ever and we are just gonna get started in showing you how to put this together. It's super easy and it's super good if you're having a big party. Yeah, we do love sangrias. Anytime that we have a big gathering of people coming over to the house, it's a great way to get out of the kitchen a little bit, prep a, um, just prepare a sangria, we either put it in a big pitcher like this or in a uh, dispenser with like a little knob, that way people could just help themselves to a cocktail. That's really nice because it allows you to actually go out and entertain your guests and be involved rather than always at the bar or at the kitchen um, preparing something for everyone else. If it's a really big party or if it, there's something that's like signature, usually we'll have like a sangria for everyone that makes everyone really happy. And then like a signature cocktail. It makes everybody really happy. Remember Natalie's baby shower? Yeah. <laughs> we made a really strong sangria for my sister-in-law's baby shower. Everyone was having a really good time with that baby shower. So it's a really fun way to just uh, have a little something special. Yeah. Um, they're always really tasty, sort of uh, sweet and palatable mm -hmm. to uh, to get the party party rolling, and something that's light touch actually at the party. Yeah. So great to prepare ahead, uh, put it in the fridge for a little while to let all the flavors soak, mm -hmm. and it'll be ready when all your guests are ready. Yes, ma'am. And before you guys say anything, I know that I'm a little prairie home companion right now with my beanie and my apron. But you guys, this apron. Anytime you see this apron, you know I mean business, you know there's gonna be food or cocktails made, okay? <laughs> there's Christmas trees on it. Pretty cute. Got it at Home Goods. So, anyways, without further ado, we are just gonna jump into the tutorial. All right, so take it away, Mr. Sellis. Tell us what we need. So, we'll be using six cups of the spice cider, a whole bottle of the Pinot Grigio and a cup of the Smirnoff vodka. We're gonna put that all into our pitcher with ice. And then while that's chilling, we're gonna cut up two, uh, two apples, chop them up. That way they're sort of chunky. Everyone loves the little fruit in the sangria that's part of the goodness, so. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. You're gonna pour your ice into your pitcher. Then you're gonna pour out the six cups into a measuring device. Right here we have this big measuring cup, but really anyone will work. Mm, smells so good. <laughs> One cup of the caramel vodka. I'm gonna need you, muscles. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. It does smell really good. I'm very excited right now. And then toss the entire bottle of that Pinot in there. That smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna chop our apples while this is chilling. And keep in mind when you're chopping the apples, you kinda wanna keep some for garnishes if you're having a small dinner party 
and maybe you want to put the little apple on the side of the wine glass there. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. We're just going to remove the stems and some of the seeds, that way it's nice and clean. Probably best to do it with a paring knife, but I have a, uh, just a kitchen knife out, or a chef's knife with me today. Okay, so once you have them, uh, them nice and cleaned up, then you're just going to go ahead and chop them. So we're gonna chop them about half an inch or so in each direction. So this is great. Once you have them all chopped up, you're just gonna go ahead and incorporate those into the sangria. Hands are pretty washed. <laughs> yeah, make sure you wash your hands, guys. And we're just gonna mix that all together. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I'll show you guys while she's mixing that together, another nice way to do garnish is just to do uh, nice small little uh, dices of the apple. That way you could go put those in the cocktail Especially if you're using it out of a pitcher, it's sort of nice to put just uh, little apple slices in uh, next to the drinks. That way people could uh, toss them in, but people could enjoy the fruit um, as they enjoy the cocktail as well. So we'll have a couple of those just to the side to show you guys, and then I'll chop up the rest of the apple. I want to drink this right now. I don't want to wait. And then sangria is uh, most typically served in a uh, large wine glass. So these are just red wine glasses from Rydell that we have and love. And uh, so yeah, just go ahead and serve it in a wine glass. If it's a casual party and you guys don't care, we, you know we always uh, always have some you know plastic cups or stuff like that. If the party's too big and we, we can't uh, you know have wine glasses for everyone, we'll just do. Um, either the like small little wine glasses or just uh, solo cups or something like that. Um, you know, if you're if you're having that kind of party. <laughs> this looks so good. Ooh, I want more fruit in mine. <laughs> okay. So that's the base, guys. It's really easy to uh, to do. Nice, enjoyable cocktail. Do you want to try? Yep. Mm. Oh my really god. Good. Really good. So we didn't we didn't make this ahead of time. We haven't tried it. This is really good. Yeah, that's that's really nice. It's, it's gonna definitely uh, pair well with a uh, with a you know sort of autumn autumn dinner or something like that. So get you ready for that pumpkin pie uh, kind of taste. Also, don't be afraid of incorporating other fruit if you guys have it. Um, you know, pears, pears. Pears would also be good in here. Or you know, if you have any of the like, you know, late summer berries or something like that, that would also be nice. So uh, we're gonna enjoy these. But uh, thank you guys for coming along. Are you gonna t tell them bye? Or <laughs> I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I post new videos every week on fashion, lifestyle. Um, we do vlogs and holiday tutorials. You guys, I've got so much stuff coming up for Christmas and more cocktails with the husband here. So thank you for joining us for the Celis Cocktail Hour. Cheers. Cheers. See you later. Bye guys.